Now I am going to discuss one more problem where the trigonometric changes are required. Question is integrate sin cube x into cos square x dx. The power of the sin term is 3 and power for the cos x is 2. Always remember the term whose power is E1 is required to assume as t. So, here we will assume that what let cos x is t or y whatever variable you want to opt. Derivative of cos x is minus sin x dx is equals to dt or we can say sin x dx is equals to what minus dt. Now, I am taking that part that problem which required to integrate sin cube x into cos square x dx. In place of sin cube x, I can write sin square x into sin x into as it is cos square x dx. This sin x and dx from this relation sin x into dx can be written as minus dt minus is out and in place of sin x dx we can write dt cos square x as cos x is t so it can be assumed as t square and what about this sin square x you can notice this sin square x is 1 minus cos square x that is 1 minus t square why you must understand that sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos square x that is 1 minus t square because what cos x is t. This become minus of integration of product is t square minus t4 dt which become minus of t cube upon 3 and minus of that is plus because minus minus t5 upon 5. But in place of t actually we need to put cos x. So, this become minus of cos cube x upon 3 and plus of cos 5 x upon 5 plus integrating constant c.